everybody, this is Brendan here at Common Motor. That's common-motor.com on the internet. And today, we're going to talk about our top five parts you should change on your vintage Honda motorcycle project. Okay, we get it. You got your project bike. But regardless if your bike is in great original shape or it's pretty rough and you have to get a bunch of pieces to get up and going, these top five parts here should be changed regardless of the condition of your bike. And this is gonna to apply to all the vintage Hondas that we support and also were built during the 60s and 70s. So let's dive in and take a look at each of the parts, what we're gonna change. Part number one, the change. Brake pads and or brake shoes. We have a disc brake in the front, you're gonna be changing out brake pads. We have a drum brake, you're gonna be changing brake shoes. They do the same thing. And the rears are all drum brake shoes on most of these bikes. Regardless of the type of brake you have, you need to change out both of these. Here's why. With the brake pads, if they've been soaked with uh, brake fluid, they tend to crumble and the friction material can fall off the metal backing here. A very similar thing happens with drum brake uh, shoes where the friction material will delaminate from the actual shoe body. And I hear from customers sometimes they say, hey Brendan, just got lots of material left on it, it's still good. It doesn't matter. They're going to be 40 to 50 years old, change them out. Your brakes are super important to the safety of your bike. So part number two to change on your bike is gonna be either front drum brake cable for your drum brakes or hydraulic brake lines if you have the disc brakes. You can either do them in rubber, like the factory, or an aftermarket stainless steel. This bike happens to have the stainless steel put on it. Now, this is important because front brake is the most important safety part of the bike. It means the bike stop. What do you know? What a coincidence about this and the brake pads and brake shoes. Now, for you guys with hydraulic front brakes, make sure you change out both the upper and lower lines, not just one of the two. They should be done as a pair. The third part you should change on your bike, regardless of what condition it is, is the drive chain. Can't tell you how many times I see drive chains that are rusty and corroded, and people are using them on the bikes. If you have no idea what condition that chain's in and how long it's been abused or neglected, go ahead and do yourself a favor change out the chain again this falls into that realm of safety no one wants a drive chain to pop on them when they're riding their bike part number four to change is going to be tires tubes and rim strips all together I hear from people that found a bike it's got low miles on it they say hey the tires are in original shape they're good they got tread on them still they got the little little doodad dingles on them still it doesn't matter just like the brakes Tires get old, the rubber gets hard, and they're not gonna grip like they're supposed to. So you gotta change all three, the tires, the tubes, and rim strips together. Make sure you budget about 100 bucks for each wheel to do this, and avoid the super cheapy tires. Part number five to change. Intake manifold, carb boots, intake pipes, carb holders, whatever you wanna call them, you gotta change these out. I know, it's not a safety thing, it's a running thing. Just like the tires, they get dry, they get hard, and they don't seal properly. They should flex, nice and smooth like that. Uh, one per carburetor. This has been a source of headaches and tuning for a lot of people and a lot of bikes. I always recommend changing out the intake manifolds if they're available for your bike. We got them for all of these bikes. Bonus part, yes. Combo regulator rectifier to replace the original rectifier and regulator, especially on the Honda Twins. That means the 175s, 350s, 200s, 360s, 450s. This is the number one failure prone electrical area on the bike. One of the two originals are going to fail. Always happens. So change them out to the new combo unit. It fixes a lot of the charging problems that these bikes have. Okay, so this has been our top five list of parts to change on your vintage Honda. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to our newsletter via our website, and of course, 
follow us right here and subscribe to us on YouTube. This is Brendan, Comet Motor. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Ooh. All right, take one. You hear me? Okay. What do I want to say? Okay.